The title of my sermon this morning, Let Everything You Do Be Done in Love. Let everything you do be done in love. This is the second Sunday after Easter. Last Sunday we met St. Thomas, who was doubtful and came to believe in the Lord when he touched his wounds. You and I walked through Easter Eve receiving light from everlasting light so we can glorify Christ risen from the dead every day of our lives. What is the power of the risen Lord? The power of the risen Lord has changed humanity, has changed the Christian person forever. It gives courage to the frightened, as we heard in this morning gospel, on how three women, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome, were there on their way to the tomb of Christ, wondering who would roll away the stone from the doors of the tomb. They could have stayed home. They could have been running away like the disciple did as they deny Christ they ever met him. The only exception of the disciple was John the Beloved who from the, the cross, Jesus looked at him and said, Behold your mother. Behold your mother. And he took Mary to his house. Yes, my dearly beloved, the three women could have avoided danger, but love called them to risk their lives. So they kept walking to anoint the body of the Lord. And love and compassion risked all the doctors and nurses and health workers to risk their lives, to come to the aid for those who are suffering with the virus corona. Can you imagine the shock on the faces when they arrived at the tomb and the stone already has been rolled away? As they entered the tomb, they were met by the angel who said to them, What are you doing here? Whom you are seeking? They said, Jesus of Nazareth. And the angel said, He's not here. He's risen. Go and tell his disciple. He will meet them in Galilee. He is risen. My dearly beloved, through the Eucharist, every Sunday, it is there to radically change our lives to be constantly reminded that we have become one with the Lord and when we become one with the Lord we always have the good news of his resurrection the question I place before you is there a stone that is blocking your heart? Is there a stone that is blocking your heart? I remember a few years ago, a young teenager, Brian, died. 
and his mother at his funeral passed to each one of us a stone to remind us that we should not harden our heart. To this day, I have that stone on my desk. What does block our heart? There are so many people in our society that facing stones that are blocking their progress of happiness. They think they are Christian, but they do not trust the Lord enough to change their lives in order to realize their potential. But there are so many kind of stones in the world. There is the stone of alcoholism and the stone of greed, the stone of corruption and the stone of jealousy. There is the stone of indifference. There is the stone of anger and fear. There is the stone of judgment and hatefulness. And the world today is facing the stone of the coronavirus, which we pray that soon they will find a medication. My dearly beloved, only through the power of the risen Lord can he send an angel and turn our stone of alcoholism to soberness, can turn our stone of greed to generosity, can turn our stone of jealousy to contentment, can turn our stone of indifference to compassion, can turn our stone of fear to strength, and judgment to acceptance. Only the angel of the Lord can send him to us and turn our stone of anger to peace and hatefulness to love. You and I have died in Christ in baptism. And we rose with him into life. Only in the resurrection, we who are Orthodox Christian can become alive even in the midst of this endemic of the corona. We can become a living being in sharing our faith our wealth, our talent, and our service. Because in him, he gave us life. St. John stated in his gospel that all things were made through him, and without him nothing was made. In him was life and was the light of all man. But as many who received him, to them the risen Lord gave them the right to become children of God. You and you and you are a child of God. In these times, of self-imprisonment in our homes. Many young couples facing the challenges of what to do with their children and how are they able to teach them, to give them education, recreation, and time of prayer. This time, of isolation should not be a curse, but a mini retreat 
a mini retreat to ask the question do we really believe do I really believe if we do no dark cloud or crisis can even not even this corona should stop us from growing growing into the image and likeness of God. I ask you once again, has your life been radically changed by the social isolation and fear of the coronavirus? Or has your life radically changed by the power of the risen Lord? My life has been changed and given courage by the risen Lord. So Christ is our life. His interest become our interest. And our interest become the Lord's interest. So as long as we believe our Redeemer lives, we shall also live. Al Messiah Khan, Christ is risen. Christos Anesti. I like to remind all family to send us their graduation pictures of their children, whether they graduate from high school, college. Or professional school I really would like to honor them and commemorate their graduation since many of them could not attend their own commencement I love you and the Lord loves you Na'mat Rabbina Yesu'a al-Masih wa mahabbatu Allah al-Ah wa sharikatu al-Ruh al-Qudus litakun ma'akum jami'a Amém.